Hi, I'm George Ferguson. I'm the collections manager at the University of Arizona Herbarium, which is a plant collection there. I'm standing next to a Palmer agave. It's called agave palmeri. That's a scientific name. And this grows in the borderlands region of Arizona from southwestern New Mexico across Arizona, commonly around the upper grasslands in the Nogales area, over towards Bisbee and the Mule Mountains, and in the uh, Sky Islands around in uh, northern Sonora. This is pollinated by a nectar-feeding bat called the lesser long-nosed bat, and it occurs in this area in the summer only. It's migratory comes up from central Mexico, follows the blooming Cardone and Saguaro and organ pipe cactus along the coast of Sonora, comes up into Arizona in early summer. But by the time this agave begins to bloom, those bats are over here in, in southern Arizona and southwestern New Mexico, utilizing this as their primary food source during the summer. And so there's a nice mutualistic relationship between this plant and the bat. As this agave begins to bloom, the lower leaves that stored starch during the winter, all that energy goes into production of the stalk. The leaves will dry out and die. This plant won't live much longer. It's on its way out. Blooms once and dies. The palmer agave is one of four species of agave in this part of Arizona that have these paniculator branching stalks. These produce capsules after the flower is pollinated. The capsules produce seeds. This rarely ever produces a side offset as well. It's one of the characteristics of the palmer agave. As you get up towards the Catalina Mountains and the Rincon Mountains, from there north up into Central Arizona is a very closely related agave called the golden flower agave, agave chrysantha. It blooms about the same time, slightly earlier, but the flowers are bright orange, golden yellow flowers, whereas the palmer agave has kind of a dull pinkish maroon tinge to a cream colored flower. And there's a hybrid area between the about Oracle and the Rincon Mountains, which includes the Catalina Mountains, where these two species, the Palmer agave on the south and the golden flower and the agave on the north, come together and produce potentially hybrids or at least some confusion about identity. The golden flower agave produces a lot of nectar, and that impressed me when I was able to shake it and have a rain of nectar fall on me in the daytime with all the uh, visiting insect pollinators there. I guess I'll be out of view for a while here. Now here's a golden flower agave, still blooming with the last uh, five panicles and even a few buds at the top. Some mammal has tried to climb this and probably did maybe a ring-tailed cat or a fox, probably trying to get the nectar. My interest in these plants and the mutualistic relationships of these plants with animals is something that takes me outdoors and get to see it firsthand. Always a surprise. It's just something else that's new. Every time you go out, you learn something new. You know, there's so much out there. It's mind boggling the diversity that you see in plants and animals on Earth. If when you start really studying it and looking at it, it's just amazing.